video. So I got my second Shea Moisture box, Shea Bastard box, and um, I believe there's a second video. Oh, this is my third video, yeah. So uh, this is my third video. Um, I am doing a, a review from my second Shea Bastard box for the Make It Last Coconut Custard line. And I'm actually, actually going to be reviewing mostly the, well, I'll be reviewing all the products today, minus the uh, Revival Oil. So I have already done a pre-poo for my hair, and I used this product here for the pre-poo. Worked really well, helped detangle my hair. Um, that's not part of my box, but I just wanted to show that's what I did for my hair. And my hair currently looks like this. Right now it's really nice and moisturized. And I used both of these products from my box to shampoo and condition my hair. Now, I had already done a review about the conditioner on my Instagram. However, I just wanted to make a note. Okay, so this conditioner is really thick. Like, super, super thick. Like, this is how thick it is when it comes out. Okay? Like, that's how thick it is. I was not expecting the conditioner to be that thick. Um, it's you actually really can't even get it out of the bottle with the pump that it comes with. So, with that being said, and I can't get it into the bottle. Um, with that being said, I feel like I want to change my review saying I don't think this would be a product that I would necessarily buy if only for that reason alone because I felt like I was struggling to get it out of the bottle the entire time. I was trying to use it and that is super frustrating to me um, with the product. I don't want to have to be fighting with it when I'm trying to use it. Um, but otherwise it worked it worked okay. I mean besides the fact it was really thick. Um, I now I also will say that I supplemented with another conditioner because I wasn't sure how well it was actually getting into my hair. So and that's a change from my previous review. I don't know what I was thinking when I wrote that one. I don't know if I've forgotten from those couple days ago when I wrote that review. So there's that. Okay, and this is the third product that came with it. It's part of a five step, step system. This is the Curl Primer. And this product is supposed to either be a pre-poo to help detangle, and it's also supposed to help really define your curls, essentially. So. Uh, they recommend using the shingling method when you're using this and I tend to start with just a little amount to begin with because I found when I used a lot the first time that it was definitely way too much and then it left a lot of white residue in my hair. So I'm just going to use a little bit to begin with and then if I need more I'll put more on later. A okay. whole lot to go shingling with. So, yeah. Okay, so I do like this product in that it detangles really well. Now, the curls in the back don't really need any help. The curl, they like to curl all on their own. It's the curls in the front that I typically struggle with. That was gonna really help the curls in the front and decides to do something because those are the ones those are the ones that I really struggle to uh, have anything that looks worthwhile at all. Okay. Alright, so the last part of the system is the make it last wash and go defining gel oil. Now this is super liquidy. Like So, um, one of the issues I have with this is that I really feel like it should be it should be in a tube instead of in this jar because 
it is very loose and I'm, yeah, I'm making mess. I'm making very mess. Yep. Which is why it should be in the tube and not in a container. So yeah, it, it looks like it's not really does. Um, kind of see me mess up and learn while you possibly do the same or figure things out along the way. Okay, so now the curls in the front have definitely gotten more defined compared to they were before. And so you have uh, compared to they were before. I typically air dry my hair. Um, I don't put heat in my hair very often. So, It does look a little bit better than this, but this is just kind of the starting place where it is, okay? So, um, let me know what you think if you tried it. If you have any other ideas, something else that might help at all, always open to that. All right, 